I think you are seeing something in which you are not familiar with. So what do we have here? We have Aesthetic Schematic Tool right here. This, this video that I'm doing right here is a review video. At the same time, I'm showing you how you can use this tool and how you can generally use schematic diagram, how you can read schematic diagram, bit mapping and board view. So I'm just going to show you everything about this tool and I promise you after watching this video, you'll be able to get rid of any schematic diagram. You'll be able to use schematic diagrams and solve problems on mobile phones. Okay, so first when you open the tool, you will have this home page right here, which is showing you all the updates that have been going on because when they up upload uh, phone models right here sometimes they don't upload all so day by day they, they upload all the models and when they upload anything they will show you on this dashboard okay so apart from the home we have all our working tools right here so the first working tool that we have right here is smart guidelines so what is the use of this tool as soon as you open this smart guidelines you will see all these models right here and as soon as you click on any model right there you will see a PCB you will see any PCB that you click on open like this with all these lines that you are seeing right here with all these lines so what is the use of that guideline tool the guideline tool is simply a way for you to easily jump at any problem that you have on your mobile phone for example I can come right here say maybe I want to jump an audio circuit solution on Infinix on Infinix Hot 11 as soon as you click on the option right here as you can see audio circuit as soon as you click on the audio circuit right here it will open a pcb which is this right here and show you all the jumper points of that audio ic where you can jump on all those cables so for example if you are trying to change your charging system on your phone then the pins peel off the motherboard in such a way that you are not able to connect your charging system because the pins are not there anymore you just have to come to, the, to these guidelines right here check the model check your phone then check the model soon as you click on the model it will ask you what you are trying to jump at right here you can if it's uh, data if it's this charger data right here is showing you the connection of the charging pin which is always written here charger data so if you are having charging problems or charging jumper as soon as you have seen the model then just click on charger data right here it will show you the jumper where you can jump at that charging system all with the data pins so that is the work of this smart guideline tool so the second tool we have right here is the schematic tool so as soon as you get into the schematic tool you see something like this and you can see right here that things here are quite different from what you have been seeing on other schematic tool and that is why I'm really happy about this tool right here so if you check this tool right here you will see that it has a bot view beside the schematic and the reason why most of you are not able to read schematic diagram is because you guys are trying to read when you guys are trying to follow up a schematic diagram you will only have the diagram which is this right here you won't have the body view and i'm telling you right here that if you don't have a body view of any schematic diagram you won't be able to succeed because for example if you follow if you are following something for example let me just say this ic right here is the audio ic so how can I know the schematic diagram of this IC? You just have to copy the number right here. You just have to copy the number on the IC, then paste it here. As soon as you have paste, paste it and search, they will show you the schematic of this IC right here. So from here, you can start following. You can start following. You can see that this is a, a, a coil right here. You copy the number. If you want to see where the coil is, you will copy the number of this coil, which is this right here. Then come back right here. Let me just type the number so that you will see what I'm talking about. You just type the number right here and click on enter. So when you click on enter, they will start showing you different. They will show you different pages in which you will have to click on the pages to see the one that that it's correct because as soon as i search they were showing this point right here which is a drilling which is which is a, a screw pot so as soon as you click on next right here it will take you directly to the coil so you can easily use this schematic tool right here without going around to to look for a body view or you cannot be using this 
about view right here and going on to be searching schematics on different side they have all that dual uh, reading right here you have your board view as soon as you click on to check on your schematic you will have the board view which shows you the number of components so that when you are reading the schematic diagram when you see any component you will just copy the number piece it here then see the position in which the component is on that PCB so this is the schematic section of this and you can easily use it they have made it in a way that you can easily use it and the tool is very cheap the tool is very cheap very cheap so you can just go for the tool then start repairing without suffering without having to use your head that much okay so what do we have right here we have what we call PCB bit mapping and this is really cool this is really cool so if you check on this bit mapping right here you will see that it shows you where any pin or any component is connected to then so for example if you want to know where this pin is connected to you are just going to click on that pin then it will show you where it's connected to and this program is not like other tools in which when you just click it will just blue it will just color the points in which it's connected to so this program is like you click then it will show the lines it will show you the line direct you the line to where all its pins is connected to so you can see that most of this line right here mo most of its pin pins are connected to the cpu right here which means that if you are trying to jump out for example where is the battery connector right here okay there is no time for that for example let me just say if you want to connect the jumper a charging connector right here you are just going to find the charging connector then you are going to click on the pins in which you want the jumper then it will show you where you can jump it so you can follow where to jump by using these lines and as soon as you click on anything they will highlight where you can jump it from so that is the use of this bit mapping and some bit mappings right here had bit mapping and schematics which is very easy which means that if you are following this line right here if you are trying to jump past something right here or see the voltage in which is uh, this component is dealing with you are just going to click on the component right here then it will show you everything on this schematic right here it will show you how it's connected to these other components that you are seeing right here and you can see the voltage you can see the ohms you can see everything on right here so the bin mapping is really cool right here for this tool because it shows a lot of things shows you the lines directly so if i come right here which is the last which is bit map with multi yeah multiplayer okay this is the craziest thing that you will experience in any schematic tool i was shocked when i saw this which is this right here so using this you can easily jump by i think you have been seeing guys online drilling drilling then doing jumper from layers deeply inside the layers of a mobile pcb you know very well that a mobile pcb is built up of different layers so how do they get to know that th these lines that those lines are passing there so that when they just grill they will be able to connect a cable then jump by it to where they want it to be they are using tools like this one right here so this uh, multiplayer tool right here is still same as bit mapping but what it shows you is that it will give you the connections then still give you the bot layers so you see these numbers right here it's telling you that this Huawei P30 Pro has 8 layers the PCB is built up of 8 layers which means that this 8 layers has all its connection some lines are tr are passing from layer one some lines are passing through layer two some lines are passing through layer three and for you to know where those lines are passing through you can use all these numbers right here so for example if you want to know that if you want to know if this connection right here of this component is passing through which layer on the pcb maybe you want to drill then do some jumper you are just going to start clicking on these layers right here until you see the one that it's connected to so after clicking i notice that it's connected to layer 2 and it will show you exactly where the lines are passing on the pcb 
and you can easily drill the PCB then connect your line you understand so you can see this it's very easy and if you really want to know how you can fully read schematic diagram you want to know how you can fully read schematic diagrams I have a link right here you can click this video to read schematic diagram or you can check the pin comment on how you can fully read schematic diagram so make sure you like this video and subscribe for more tutorials